Okay, let's uh, let's stop and just cruise around here. Look at the rocks. It looks really snaky. Um, and uh, sure enough, Eli ends up finding a. Dropped Eli off. We came up on a snake. And he's got the snake. Let's see. What do we got? We got a liar snake. Sweet. And I was just saying to him. Hey, I'll, I'll let him say it. What was I just saying to you? This is where we're going to find a liar snake. All right, so we just road cruised a uh, legless lizard. This is another lifer for me, so very cool. I'm not gonna do a, a video on them. I'll find another one. I know where where they can be found, and I'll do the Herping California video on them. But this is not a snake. This is a lizard, and you can actually see him. He's starting to bury, trying to bury. Oh, look at him go. He's gonna bury. Sidewinder. Let me check it out, my camera. Sweet. Oh, that's cool, dude. How he changed directions like that. Hey, let's uh, let's stop and just cruise around here. Look at the rocks. It looks really snaky. Um, and uh, sure enough, Eli ends up finding a speckled rattlesnake on the crawl. So we'll go check it out. Is that not a pretty snake or what? That would be a lifer for both of us. We're gonna road cruise. We got here a little early, like I said uh, earlier, um, and decided to walk around. Really rocky terrain. We're kind of looking for specks. Sure enough, Eli stumbles on a on a speck. Uh, super stoked. It ends up being a lifer for both of us. Uh, this is a really really cool looking snake. Uh, these snakes are very uh, highly variable. They can look very different in different areas, different habitat. They really match the surrounding very well. To help show what I mean by color variation, I asked some fellow Instagrammers for some help. Check out the different color variations that have been encountered. If you have an Instagram account, you should follow these guys as they take excellent photos. Please see the description for their information. Special thanks for the help, guys. But this is a pit viper. It's a venomous snake. Uh, he is very chill. When we first came upon him, he was pretty grumpy, letting us know, hey, I'm venomous. I'm going to hurt you if you want to touch me. But now he's kind of worked things out. He realizes we're not going to hurt him. Um, but this is this is probably an adult. It might get a little bit bigger. Um, looks like about probably two and a half feet, something like that. What do you think, Eli? Three yeah, foot. Yeah, that's about right. Two, two, three foot. And so the adults are about two to four foot. They don't get very big. Um, but uh, this is a, a predator um, out here. It definitely will prey on uh, birds, rodents, other snakes, lizards. Um, but it also will get preyed upon by. Uh, other snakes, uh, king snakes will eat them when they're when they're smaller. This guy's pretty healthy, so really the only thing that's going to get him is some sort of mammal like a coyote or a bird of prey. Road runners will get him. This is a uh, a live bearing snake. Uh, it'll bear live young. Doesn't have eggs. Uh, we'll go inside of a rodent burrow to have those uh, the live young. It's a pit viper. It's a venomous snake. Has the heat sensing pits. It can actually work out and see heat. That's how it hunts. Uh, will. Uh, and that's the thing, it's found in very rocky terrain, the, the speckled rattlesnake and uh, is an ambush predator, will hide around the rocks and wait for a rat uh, or some, some other sort of prey item to come around, will strike and venomate, the uh, animal will die and it will be able to track it down and find it and, and eat it. So Eli just mentioned that uh, we found him right, right by the road, the road's right here, um, he was actually headed towards the road so either we'll bring him across the road the way he was headed or we'll re redirect him another way but we'd rather him not get hit. So. We'll do our best to uh, make sure that that doesn't happen. Alright dude, stay away from the road. Good 
I just came up on another little guy. I thought it was going to be a baby soap pack. It ended up being a baby speck.